Hey folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Um, I, uh, it's been a couple of days since I recorded, so I was able to let the YouTube videos catch up a little bit, and I can respond to a few comments. First of all, some people were curious as to why I'm not making heavier use of Magic Missile. Uh, the truth is, level 1 Magic Missile is relatively poor, um, because it's a single missile that does 1d4 plus 1 damage, which often won't have any significant impact in the course of the battle, whereas Sleep and Color Spray is an instant I win button. If you put like, in a fight that's dangerous, if you put half of the enemy party or more asleep or unconscious, you're just going to win. Um, and so you really want to stick with uh, sleep and color spray um, until they no longer become useful, which is to say once you start to run into more things with four hit dice because they become immune to those spells, at which point your magic missile will, instead of firing a single missile, will be firing two or even three missiles at a time, and of course caps out at five missiles, at which point magic missile becomes my go-to first level spell um, after uh -huh. maybe a little bit of armor. Do you have armor going on right now? No. Let's get that going on first. Um, after armor and, you know, a couple of slots for identify. And Dinah here, yeah, you don't know very many spells. Not feel well inside. Wow. I'm thinking Nira had a wild surge. She did. She failed to cast armor correctly, had her wild surge, this is what happens with wild mages, exploded and nearly killed the party. What the hell? Um hey guys, I think we're gonna rest. Is time. <laughs> That's wow. Okay, rest. Ooh, creepy spider. Let's quick save. <clears throat> and let's try that again here. Wild mages. She has no hit points and has a tendency to explode, explode the party. Did you wild surge again? The stuff of legend. Right, boo? I mean, you just held yourself this time, which is less bad, but I really want you to have armor on before we go in here. Um, I'm tempted to actually just throw her a suit of armor and just have her, you know, sling things. Dan here has only has an AC of 10 as well. Maybe I should have done that. They don't have that many spells to cast early on. Maybe I should have just gotten them all leather armor. Actually, I don't even know if they're allowed to wear leather armor at all um, in second edition like this. They may literally not be, or in Baldur's Gate, they may literally not be able to put it on in the first place. Right? Not usable, my mage. Okay. How long are you going to be held? Seriously? Yes. Okay, well, I also have to restructure the party here. Uh, when Jahira was here, I was always having her lead the party, or most of the time. Uh, but I forgot to restructure things since then, so we're going to put a higher charisma person on top for the conversation bits. Hello. Minor Gord. Uh, adventurers. Uh, yes, what have you heard? Rufy barely escaped. Okay, guard saved him. All right, let's go and talk to Rufy, who's right over here. What you got? Tell me about the mines. What's the making the miners disappear? Demons, little devils everywhere! I tell you, from the walls are coming. They're going to kill us all. Actually, the other uh, question that some people had was um, about my comment that going to the Null Stronghold is easier. Okay. Stand easy, Minsk. They needs not be so motherly. It is as you would have it. It is my sworn vow to ensure your every need is catered to. All right, Minsky Poo. Um. Right, so I said that like I prefer to do the um, the Noel stronghold before the Nashkel mines, and yes, obviously Kobolds individually are easier to fight than Noels, but I've never had a problem clearing the Noel stronghold. I just found it to be relatively manageable and easy. It's not too long. You don't run out of resources. Whereas here, um, there's massive groups of Kobolds sometimes, and there's a lot of ranged fire, and sometimes there can be a little focus fire, and you can get torn apart surprisingly quick. There's a lot of really dangerous traps in here, if I recall correctly, that can um, kill some of these low-level characters pretty quickly. Are you? Oh, you're finally on health. Um, and the final fight in this dungeon I always found to be a little tricksy. And maybe it's just because of the party compositions I work with or whatever. But um, I always found the uh, the stronghold to be easier to deal with than the, uh, the mines. Plus, I pick up Minsk and then he starts asking about um, Dinah here. And I'm like, okay, well, we'll go take care of that. Um, so, I always, I, I don't know, just found it a little bit easier. Your mileage may vary. Alright, so here we've got a first piece of contaminated ore. I don't know, I don't remember if we need it for anything for a quest. I'm going to grab one and sort of haul it around for a little while um, and see, but I'm not sure if we need it for anything. Uh, let's go and explore. Now, what I hate about these mines is sometimes I'll 
sort of get to a quarter and it looked like it was the end there and then it's not actually the end because I didn't go quite around the corner to un to reveal things and I don't remember uh, the map so I don't know where the exit are. I don't think there's a whole lot of stuff on this first level. Um, there's like maybe one extra quest to pick up. Someone wants a, a knife or something like that. Is it you? Oh, I'm so tired. Uh, no, you're the claustrophobic one. Okay. Is it mine or Corey? <laughs> I think I'm coughing up blood. You're coughing up blood. That's great. Uh, apparently they're mining asbestos here. Um, problems with the mines. Um, yeah, do you know what's been weakening the ore? I knew that, I already fixed it. Okay, God, don't be so snotty. <laughs> Someone's coming to I'm talk to us. Blood. Uh, glorious day, don't get many. Are you going down the mines you could? Can you return this dagger to Kylie? You dropped it. Uh, oh, sure, I'll return the dagger. Okay, so it's not finding a dagger, it's delivering a dagger. It's not like magic or anything, is it? No, oh, just a regular dagger. Okay. How much money do I have? Oh, I'm doing okay money-wise. Anything down here? No, that's a complete dead end. And we've run into our first of the little devils. It's a, just a cobalt. I like no hit points. But every now and again, you just, I mean, you're low-level party, right? Like, we've got people with no hit points. Uh -huh. And apparently Nira can't cast a goddamn armor spell to save uh -huh. her life. And Jahira's going around with no armor either. Or Jahira, dying here. Although at least she has... Wait, she had 10 of 11? Where did she take one point of damage from? Did she just take damage here? Hmm, whatever, maybe she wasn't fully healed. Um, oh, oh, the other thing is someone finally told me what this red button does. Every time I hit it, it just opens up a thing. I see him from mouse over. It says quick loot. God damn it. I thought it was just another action bar. I've never used it when there was dead enemies around. It's just a quick way to um, see the loot that's in the area nearby, so I don't have to check every single body. Thank you so much. That, I'm pretty sure, I guess I can leave it open too, um, is an addition in the Enhanced Edition. I don't think that was, I'm very confident it wasn't in the vanilla Baldur's Gate, and I don't think it was in Baldur's Gate 2 either. So I'm assuming it's an E add-on here. Oh, these tunnels are such a pain to go around. Now, I am detecting traps. Yeah, I am, Quillicus. And, ah, okay, so this is the way down. Um, I didn't do a full clear of this first level, but I don't think there's anything else, actually. There might be, like, one extra side quest you can pick up, but I, I don't know. I don't have any memory of it. Let's just go down. Fire. These mines are long enough Help! as is. Help! Hello. Come in, yipping demons. They're everywhere. Hello, Belden. Um, demons? But, uh, there they are. There they are. Okay, so it's just, um, four kobolds, which is fine. Um, what is your command? All right. We might want to spread out our attacks. Do that. How may I be of assistance? Uh, I'm gonna see if I can trust. get in Eat here. Flaming or uh, possibly frosty. Hello. Death. Well, yeah. Everyone's is everyone ranged except me. Everyone is ranged except me. Oh, that makes it a lot easier to like wander around to? these things. It is better to die on your feet than live on your knees. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, roll the 20. Okay, only two damage. Although that would have been a quarter of uh, Nira's hit points. I think that was probably a mid roll. It doesn't actually show the damage rolls, right? It just says you took damage. We don't actually know what their damage potential is. All right. Um, do we want cool. Mints to pick up some extra arrows? And also, does that. Oh, you still have to wander to it. I don't think you had to wander for the gold, but maybe the arrows are different. Um, you're okay. Let's restack these. Like so. All right. May Good. Oral bit is a fine day to die. So let's follow the right-handed wall. We got some weapons. Probably an Amish garden here. Well, Amish. Omnion. Uh, yeah, let's go loot that. What do we got? Eh, pole arms and quarterstaff. I mean, they might be worth a couple of gold, but... Is that? Oh, that's just a drop. Okay, so that's a dead end. Roger, roger. I don't remember these caves at all. I would really feel a lot better if my people had some actual AC. But well, you actually have an AC of 5, which isn't bad. It's Diny here who needs a goddamn armor spell. We need to find another scroll for it so we can teach it to her. Or have her level up, because I think you can learn a spell when you level up. I don't remember. 
I also feel like there might be a trap around here. Okay, why are you people all moving forward to engage the kobold? There we go. I'm happy we got a lot of range. Let's do this. I'm actually going to hold myself back here. And just let the range people finish all these guys off. Okay, so you can pick up gold without walking to it. That's nice. What is it this time? All right, uh, I am checking the traps, which is good. I'm sure there are some somewhere in this dungeon. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one be for now, and we're gonna keep following the right-hand wall. I mean, eventually we'll, you know, if we keep checking the outside, we'll find the downway route, unless there's stairs in the middle of the map. But I think they're always on outside in these mines. <laughs> All right, some more damage. How much did you do? Three this time. Just about time for a heal. I think these guys are out of range, some of them. Gibbed. Okay. Gold, gold, gold. God damn, this is handy. Uh, potentially a weapon. Stand back and watch this. Okay, nothing we need. Um, right hand rule. Let's go down here, which might be the next level. Go in there. Okay, that's starting to be a little bit of damage. Did you just cast a spell? Who was that? You rang? Do you have a script that you cast spells with? Wizard defensive. No, just be um, standard ranged. I've decided I'm not going to be automating people's behavior that much. Okay. I don't want you to... Like, what a stupid waste of a sleep or something right there, which is, I think, exactly what happened. Um, do not use sleep spells on these kobolds. You run up. Just trying to get people... Get more people in range here. There you go. Alright. Yeah, potions... Oh, pick up potions without walking. Oh, no, I was just on top of things. All right. Let's do an out-of-combat heal on Quilicus. Who's taken a fair amount of damage. Get in there. Not quite bloodied. Not that bloody is a state in this edition. But even when uh, when we play our pen and paper games at home, uh, and we play 3.5 ed these days, mostly, um, we still use bloodied to refer to people's status, like, so that we've got an idea. Okay, there's the exit. Doesn't show up on the map either. I'll have to remember that it's down there, but I do want to clear the rest of this level. Um, we use it as a way to describe how much damage things have taken, especially monsters. Like the DM, the dungeon master won't tell us how many hit points you know a monster has, but when we've done enough damage to bring them below half, he'll tell us the monsters are bloodied. So you know we can tell we've done some appreciable amount of damage, and um, it you know helps guide our actions. Plus, our DM's pretty creative with his monsters, and he often will make them do something special or trigger something when they do become bloodied so it adds some nice um i don't know some nice variety to stuff don't go that way do check that <laughs> yeah okay still nothing exciting okay that's a clear just dead end which is fine nothing there just a dead end all right i'm looking for kylie i think kylie's on this level if I find him, then I might just run to the exit. Yeah, and I don't need to do a full clear. There's You get a little bit of experience from killing kobolds, but not that much. Let's give them a right victory! Um, Alright, nice bottlenecks here. I can be micromanaging my people a bit more, but... I can't get in front here. There we go. This. Come on, kill the kobolds, people. We have what so few hit points, time? things can go real bad real fast. By is a fine day to die. They're sort of blocking each other in here. Because pathfinding is hard. It is actually. Talked about it before. Pathfinding with agents around is difficult. Like, what do you do? Do you push people out of the way? Sometimes that's what you want. But working that out is not trivial. Uh, that's just generic miner. That probably just has contaminated ore in it. 
generic miner. Where's Kylie? Okay, and a dead end. In these mines, I'd probably have like le fewer pathfinding problems with more. Really, that's a dead end there, and not a doorway. Oh, no, all right. Um, with more melee people, at least another melee person, because then my range people will get hung up on each other a little bit less. But in practice, especially in narrow hallways like this, more melee is usually not very helpful. Because then your melee people can't get in position, and you, and in the out in the open, range people have it much much better. Oh, there was another uh, another cobalt over there, because they can spread out a lot easier to all be within combat range. Yay! Get the money. Okay. Do 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 do. Yeah, well, Kylie might not be on this level. Oh, there he is! And more soldiers and more loots. And I'll leave the oh, thing. Dark down here. Uh, do you know what's happening in the mine? Cobalt. Ooh, 200 XP. Nice. You see them occasionally, but then I can't go more than a few feet without kicking one of them in the lower levels. Not so bad up here with the guards around. Still wouldn't be caught in the dark if I were you. Okay. Hello, experience points. Um, we'll check the weapon racks. Although, again, I suspect that there's not really much we want on there. Just conventional, generic. Yeah. That is your command. No need to worry about that. Um, may as well poke in the last few bits over here. I don't think there's going to be anything notable. Maybe just a couple more cobalt skirmishes. Does Dinah here just have a really short range? I mean, she's not the only person using a, a sling, so I don't understand, but... I should have just switched to someone else to pick up that. Oh, is that where we came in? Yeah, it is. Generic miners. I'm assuming there's no cobalts right next to the miner, although who knows? No, then that's a dead end. And it looks like I've covered everything, so we should be able to run all the way over here. Let me give another click, just to make sure that no one is pathfinding screwed. And I do like that the map doesn't pause the game, so you can watch your little blips go by. Looks like a full clear of this level. I think that's all right. Do, 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 do. Oops. Tab do to sec to check something. I forgot it would pause the game. Uh, nope, go that way, guys. There you go. Now that they're spread out, it will be less of a problem. Can't set waypoints in this either, I don't think. And it's an early game. Mm -hmm. Even modern games actually have problems with pathfinding. But we have gotten better at it. There's more techniques, and more importantly, we just have more CPU to kick around here, so people um, are okay making additional passes and, and more scanning uh, while doing pathfinding. It was just prohibitive back then. All right. So we are on what yet another level. Dead person over there. Just more contaminated ore. All right, we'll keep following the right-hand wall. We are detecting traps. I don't have the, the greatest trap sense in the universe uh, because I did have to start off with um, with lock picking so I can get that first katana. All right, Hello. you guys, scooch up. That is a lot. You rang? This is a great spot to use a sleep spell. Boom. And then we kill one at a time. Go for the eyes, boo. Go for the eyes. Because again, that ranged um, focus fire that these guys can do can really cause some trouble Go sometimes. Alright, you guys are being real loud. What is your command? By Valkor's mighty blade. Yeah, 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 by Valkor's mighty blade. Charge. Pathfinding! Hello. How may I be? You have All right, let me pull back over here, so that they'll have to come within vision range of my range my people. Or maybe they're not following. Thy mighty blade. Again, 
All right, didn't realize they'd de aggro. What is your command? By Valkor's might. Hello? For right. Go for the eyes, boo. Go for the eyes. Rusk! For right. What is it this time? It is better to die on your feet than live on your feet. If Tempus wills it. All right. Uh, I think there's nothing there in the middle worth checking. These barrels might have something when we get near them. Mm, they are lootable. Yes? You have but to ask. Nope. All right. May or it is a fine day to die. How may I? I shall attend to it in a trice. Still a little worried about traps here. It'd be nice if my melee guy was always ahead. I but I want her to be the party leader because of the high charisma. Well, 13 charisma. Higher than mine, anyway. Be nice in Baldur's Gate 2 and we get a ring that sets my charisma at 18. Just GG. Um, we want to wait before we cross that bridge. I mean, that's assuming we want to do a full clear of here. Which we may not care about, actually. I don't remember if there's... There might be, like, some awesome loot somewhere or something. I'm not sure. Uh, a couple of scrolls, though. That's Grease... And shocking touch, I think, or shocking grasp. Go for the eyes, boo. Go for the eyes. Rask! Ooh, starting to be a lot of these guys. So far, so good. And they are all focused on my character, who has the most hit points. So that's good. If they were ranged attacking my squishy casters, then I would probably look into sleeping them. Now I got some magic bolts. I guess that's something. And yeah, the scrolls. So I'm actually really happy we came here. You. Scroll. Scroll. Grab those. Why not? That, 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 that. This is so handy. Hello. Okay. And uh, quick save that. I'll check down here. I don't remember. Is this another... No, that one's a dead end. Okay. Good to know. And we got a couple of boxes to loot. Gem... 26 gold ain't bad. This is a full dead end? Okay. Yeah, maybe we'll uh, clear the rest of this level. One interesting question is, is there anyone on the fringe of leveling up? Yeah, that's not going to happen from Cobalt or that or that. Um, I need quite a bit more because that's effectively 600 more XP. Because, Or actually 900 more XP because it's split three ways. So no. So there's no ability for us to farm an extra level here by clearing this, but... It's starting to feel like My turn to save the day. there's a decent amount of stuff on this level. Let's butt kicking for goodness. By tempo flaming. Or, uh, so it might be worth Go doing it. I mean, I don't know. That group may have just been a freak. It was a big cobalt group, so they might have just included more loot because of that. I don't think the loot is random. Or it's semi-random, right? Like maybe the exact amount of gold might be random. But I think for cobalt to hold scrolls, I think that is predefined. I'm not sure. Tis a fine day to die. Yeah, but a finer day to live. Okay, and I think that's going to be it up top here. Okay. Let's head down over here. And definitely make sure that our uh, trap scouter is near the front. Alright, this quick loot thing is the best. What is it this time? Alright, Scooch. Ha ha ha! Memory. Um, my chance to disarm a trap is pretty low, and I don't think I can do it in armor. We'll try. Oh, and then there's enemies. And now I'm not wearing my armor. Hey, I got it! Can I wear an... No switching armor in combat. So what's my AC right now, actually? It's five. It's not the worst that could possibly be. What is it this time? Uh, oh, and you wasted that sleep. That's right. Whatever they need. They wish my ears. All right, let's move in. You have but to ask. What the? Did I not disarm that spell? Trap disarmed. But I just set off a trap again. Oh, there might have been more than one in a row and I didn't identify them all. 
Oh, poop. What is it? It shall be as you wish. And you head over that way. I punch. Hello. Okay. Go for the eyes, boo. Go for the eyes. Now, I'm hoping that the trap was a one shot, so it won't trigger again. I shall attend to it in a trap. I'm detecting. They do a lot of damage. Could have easily killed the spellcaster. Oh, I guess I have the quick loot bar, right? So none of these others have gold. All right. It's better to die on your tis All right, let's move up. How may I? It shall be as you wish. Don't think that's the only trap. The Oral bestowed a frost kiss upon our enemies. Tis a fine day to die. Let's do that, actually. So at least I'm in the first two ranks with my ma my main uh, melee character. Go for the eyes, boo! Go for the eyes, Rask! Okay. Just a lone kobold. Was not expecting that. Kobold's power is their ability to come in massive packs. For right, and I always am. Quick. Click and go. What is I shall attend to it in a trice. By thy Valkor's mighty blade. What does it mean to attend to something in a trice? I mean, every time he says that, I think thrice. It's like, I attend to it in a three. I'm like, what? No, that doesn't make any sense. All right. Ghoul, I don't remember, but they might have a paralyzing touch thing. Still, it should be okay if my melee guy tanks. I'm going to pull back a little bit to give everyone more of a chance to engage. All right, move in here. We have some heals and things, um, which we're apparently going to have to start using right away. Okay, good. He is injured. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the last healing spell. I still have a healing ability on my character. Yes, I do. Good. Um, we will want to rest relatively soon, so Nira can get her uh, armor spell again. Tempted to memorize two with her, so if she screws one up, we can still have a second shot at using it. Uh -huh. Speaking of, why the hell are you leading? I have a trap detector in the front for a reason. But with these moves, like people sort of get mixed up in their movement order. And really what I should be doing is a lot more moving with my main character first, since he's the trap detector. Just move him independently of the party. Which, if you've got a full-time rogue, you do do that a lot, because they can go into stealth mode and really um, uh, scout stuff ahead, which is really powerful. Oh, I'm poisoned. What is it? It shall be. I should be okay. That is a lot of poison. Ticking very quickly. I'm going to top myself off here. So then we'll just wait for it to wear out. And then I think I will rest. We could get attacked while we rest. But probably we'll be okay. I don't have a cure spell or anything. Hey, I keep forgetting to use my chance. And whole person's not bad either. But I should definitely have the chant in there. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and do a rest. Um, I don't have any more healing spells right now, so I'm not going to get healed any more than the automatic healing that you get from resting, which is not that much. What is your command? There you go. Use that. What is and... Cast armor and try not to explode everyone. Nice. Now... I'm going to take your armor bracers, since they don't do anything while you have the armor spell running, and I'm going to give them to Dinah here instead. None of these are particularly useful scrolls, actually. We probably won't even memorize them. Probably just sell them. I think that's going to be fine. Hello. Okay, well, we're going to put a cut in here. Thank you very much for watching another episode, folks. I'll see you next time as we continue to clear out the Nashgal Mines.